Hey y'all, it's me, Crazy Rebecca Dances with Pitbulls. Uh, this sign came from Tammy Bowers in Hawaii. I love it a lot. Creepy girl on there. Today we're gonna make this canvas. I put this together in hopes that my friend Becky's granddaughter would come over and also make one. But school started, she never came, so I'm going to show you how to make it. So you need an 8x10 canvas. You need some book pages cut in whatever size you want. Of course, your tacky glue, your Mod Podge. You need a bunch of paints in your choice of colors. Not sure why the Payne's Gray is in there. You need a buckle of some so sort or whatever you got to, to uh, use as your focal point. And these are strips of coffee dyed notebook paper. This is what I used for the rays. Oh, here's the Payne's Gray. It's around the edges. And looks like... I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. This is on the buckle and also on this edge. And I think this is Stickles. So whatever you have really will work. This is triple thick triple thick with glitter in it. So I have glitter. This glitter, was that embossing? It was. It's embossing powder, but it works as glitter too. And I'm not sure why I have these in there. Must have been going to do something with them. That's your supply list. So first thing you're going to do with your canvas. No, second thing you're gonna do. First, you're gonna paint this. And I'm gonna try to... Okay, I can't remember how. Maybe I got bigger wire cutters somewhere. But I'll just go ahead and paint it. This is also what I use paint this gray on. It's all coming back to me now. No need to be perfect. You're going to cover it anyway. And if you need to put another coat, you can do that when it's dry. Okay. It would be nice if I had. Grab me a paper towel in the kitchen. Thank you. I'll wash my brush before I put the final layer on. But you just put your pages and you don't it doesn't matter which direction or I can put this one this way. Just carry on for the rest of it. And I'll be back when I get it done. Okay, I used my handy dandy dryer and I've decided to go with green instead of pink this time. Number one, because I don't know where my pink is. Number two, because, just because I say.
you kind of want a paint that is transparent so you can still see the words underneath it. going to have a couple of layers so your brush strokes if you don't like them smooth them out if you don't care leave them I love metallic paints you need your glitter paint. So let's go with this one. Wow, I haven't even opened this one yet. Oh, this is special. Look at that. It matches. <laughs> You gotta use more than one coat. I don't know. It seems I remember using the other one and I had to do it two or three times to get enough glitter to show. try again okay I got to thinking maybe while this is still wet I could lay down these strips to make my rays and just let it be what it is some of them in half to do these. And we're not, again, we're not going for perfection. Absolutely not. cover that whole thing with what? How about my potch sparkle? I made 
made this by adding glitter to some Mod Podge. Uh, you can buy it. And I don't see the glitter showing up, but that's okay. You can add glitter at the end also. <laughs> it's got to get ugly before it gets beautiful. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So once again, we're going to let this dry. Oh, you know what we can do while we're waiting? add some oh no that's not dry either okay so let me hit this with this to try to help and then we'll just let it all sit and hope that things improve hope for the best <laughs> plan for the worst well, I've decided to be very impatient. <laughs> this is Stickles. Um, where does it say the color? Anyway, you can tell. <laughs> it's blue, bluish teal. And I'm going to just... Ch -ch -ch Everything is absolutely fine. This will go there. There will be in the middle some stuff. I'm going to see if I have, what if we used red? What if we did? I'm gonna see what other glittery embossing powders I have. Okay. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Pretty good. So let's use this. To do this. Uh, my game's going over there if you hear it. <laughs> I should turn that off. Look at the texture <laughs> from it not being smooth. That's okay. Okay, game off. Okay. So I want to Get another brush. All my brushes are in the sink. Good thing I have a bazillion more from the artist. Paint gray. Let's do the edges. can do that at the very end, I guess.
Okay. glue this and set something on top of it to hold it down while it dries. Lots of glue because it's shiny and you know it may not want to stick. Middle-ish. And you wonder why my hands look like this? I just stuck my finger in the side. <laughs> Situation normal. Let's put this glue on it. How about if we put it like that? Okay. Again, with the drying. Everything's dry. Except I did not fix that. Why? Why didn't I fix that? Okay. Time for the triple thick. I think, oh, why do I always do this? Like, I can't, don't know to open the jar first. Pour some in there. <gasps> some, I said, Rebecca. Not the whole thing. Okay. It's not too much. Maybe I can do that. Good Lord. Help me, help me. I'm looking at I don't know, what am I gonna do? Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> I got a spoon. Do I need to put some of that back? Cause I'm gonna put glitter in there. Look at me putting the triple glaze back. Okay. The paper towels were right in front of me the whole time. Okay. Do this. Pop some bubbles. Be careful. Be more careful than me. You know I do this. I'm sure it self-levels, right? So we're going to go ahead and use some of this green. And some of this blue. I can't remember how I did the other one. It's been too long. Can I stir it? <laughs> We're going to find out.
Well, how are you going to know if you don't try? That's what I always say. No, usually I say I meant to do that. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. I need a little brush. Look at my little brush. How much did this cost? It doesn't say. But it's a number two round. Hold that. Hold her steady, Newt. Looks like it wants to level, but I don't trust it. Okay, just, just leave it alone, Rebecca. Just leave it alone. Okay, this is me leaving it alone. I'm gonna wash that in a minute, but I wanna what color? <laughs> Do I want a contrast color? I can wipe it off if I don't like it. This is not dark enough now. What if I put this? Is there a lid? Yes, there's a lid. Whoa, pin cushion, want to come with. I could scoop this all out and start all over. Get a paper towel. Sometimes things just don't work. Am I right? Okay. Do not put <laughs> glue in the triple <laughs> triple diamond glaze or whatever. <laughs> Should I just, maybe, <sighs> mad scientist. It's reacting. <laughs> okay, let's just see what it does. Okay. 
Uh oh, close battery, close. Okay, 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 okay. So this is what I ended up with. I'm really happy with it, except what is that? That is nothing, it's nothing. I might actually put a layer of triple glaze on that now. Oh, it was a long, arduous journey to get to this. I'm really happy with it. Look, look at my thing. Hey, I didn't do the this. Let's do that. Because, because we can. Because you can never have too many layers, right? Okay. Practically perfect in every way, except I'm going to do that. I will show that. Well, let's just do it and then let it dry and then show it. Okay. Who left the lid off of this? Okay. Please smooth out. Please smooth out. And now maybe it'll be shiny. Definitely very shiny. Is this water-based? Because if it's water-based, water-based, I can add a little water to it. Okay. Okay. We'll be back. I hereby announce you good enough. It's not perfectly smooth in there, but you're not going to have your nose up in it looking at it anyway, are you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway. Look at these cousins here. <laughs> Yeah, I like them a lot. <sighs> Please go make something. Make something cool. Please. <laughs>